Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a mock-up on PicMonkey and we are going to be making a Facebook um, Facebook shop ad. So that's the template I am using. You can go ahead and choose whichever you'd like depending on where you are going to be saving your picture. So first go to PicMonkey, choose blank canvas and choose the Facebook shop icon. And um, making mock-ups is great because it, it allows you to not have to make your actual product before uploading it to your shop. So you can create all these products and you're not wasting, or you can create all these mock products on your um, website and you're not wasting paper and products and other things, shirts if you're making shirts, um, by creating that product first. Um, so I'm going to be doing a mock-up with, with stickers. Um, so once you have all that open, um, go ahead and click photo and video. And you're just going to type in backdrop. And whatever backdrop you like, um, you can choose. Maybe you want a wooden backdrop. This one's kind of neat. So go ahead and drag that over. And this is going to be the background of your photo. Next, you can go into Google and type in, I have some of these downloaded on my computer already, but um, you, can, you can certainly look for one too. Um, hand vector PNG. And you wanna try to find a picture of a hand holding something. Um, there's, different things that you can type in. I found one um, that I'm just going to use. Maybe you can type in hand mock up vector. I don't want to waste too much time looking for the perfect one because I already found the perfect one. I mean you could use this one. Um, you could take out it would be nice to find a blank one. Something Maybe something in here. Whatever works for the product that you're using. Um, like I said, I do already have one saved in my computer, and if you are looking to purchase that one, um, you can go ahead and message me, and I can help you with that. Um, so upload your hand image, whether you purchased it or found it on Google. And go ahead and drag that right onto your Pick Monkey background. And wait for that to load. There we go. And you don't want um, something this big. This is kind of overkill. So just kind of move it down to your liking. And then click add or or add photo or video and find your PNG sticker that you would like to upload. So I have all of mine saved under my Etsy files. So just choose one that you want to use. Um, let's go with the Honey I Shrunk the Kids. So upload that one and just like the hand you're just going to drag it on over. And you're gonna want it, you know, you're gonna want to make sure that it looks like the hand is holding the sticker. So as you can see, there's a lot of uh, there's not a lot of white around here. So go ahead and click shadow and outline, click the outline. And I like to do white backgrounds. Um, I know some people prefer different colors. I'm gonna create a little more of an outline on here. And I'm going to click off of that. And maybe make it a little bit smaller because I don't, oops, not sure if that one saved actually. There we go. Okay, um, I'm going to make it a little smaller only because I, my stickers are usually about three inches. So I want it smaller than the hand. Um, and then right click that picture and click move layer backwards. And once I do that, you're going to see it right here that it's going to put it behind the thumb. So it looks like the hand is holding the picture. And there you go. You're going to download it. 
and upload it right to your um, your Facebook shop. And then the awesome thing about this is you can change. You can upload more images. You can change the background. So, you know, go ahead and delete that background. Go into photos. Search for a new backdrop or background. Um, and you can obviously search on Google, too. Or you can purchase um, backdrops as well. There we go. Let's go with this one. And then you can save this image on here. So go ahead and drag it on here. Click move it back. And there's another one for you. So you can just do these a ton of times to create all these different mockups. And then you can just, you know, um, go ahead and even delete this and add your new sticker right into there. So tons of opportunities um, to make these mockups, which I think are pretty cool. So if you have any questions, please let me know. I am here to help. Have a great day.